So the cube again, uh, two inches cube, two inch square, uh, six sides, six surfaces, four sides, a top and a bottom. The first line we do is gonna be three inches up. So I'm gonna set my ruler. Uh, you can do it backwards this way. I'm gonna put my ruler at three and go to zero, remembering that zero is not the edge of the ruler. So again, the, ruler, the rule for marking lines is mark two arrows, scratch a line. So I'm gonna come down here, do the same thing. I'm gonna scratch my line, put my pencil on that point right there, line up the other point, and draw that line. I'm gonna go all the way across. Uh, I'm gonna measure twice, so I only have to cut once. Set my ruler back on there, double check it, looks pretty good. Now, you don't have to use your ruler this way. You could have used your ruler this way, and then you have zero and you're going up to three. Uh, you could even start at four. Four plus three is seven, so you could have marked your arrow at seven inches. We just needed to go three inches. Now, once again, from here to here is three inches. Only the first line is three inches. The rest of the lines we're gonna be making are two inches. You'll see why in a few minutes. I'm gonna do the same process, but from this line, I'm gonna go two inches. I'm gonna measure up, mark my two arrows, scratch a line. So I'll do it this way this time. I'm gonna start at zero. We're gonna go up to two inches, mark my arrow, come down here, two inches, mark my arrow, line everything up, pencil on the point, that helps a lot, make it easier, because then all you have to do is line up that other arrow. All right, measure twice, so we only have to cut once. Looks good. These two lines are parallel, but now we need several perpendicular lines. Lucky for us, this piece of paper is square. It's not a square, but it is square. Square meaning each corner on this paper is 90 degrees. So I can measure over and draw a parallel line to this edge and it will be perpendicular. We'll get a 90 degree angle. But when I do this one, I'm going to show you a cheat code. So here comes the cheat code, the life hack. We need several boxes. We need four boxes between these two lines. So this is two inches. We're going to come over two inches, draw a line, two inches, two inches, two inches. I don't have to do what I just did. Draw this line, mark it, draw this line, mark it. I can kind of do them all at the same time. So if I start from this edge, I'm going to set my ruler at zero and I'm gonna mark four at a time. I'm gonna go two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches. I'm gonna come down here somewhere and do the same thing. Two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches. So now I've marked my two arrows, two arrows, two arrows, two arrows. I can start drawing lines. The risk you take when you do this is you don't get to check your lines until after you've drawn all of them. And if you messed up one of the first ones, if I messed up this line, the rest of the lines are probably going to be wrong too. So if you want to do it the other way, you can. And I'm kind of rushing this just so the video doesn't take forever. But I think I'm pretty accurate. Remember, measure twice. A little off on that one, not well. Really doesn't look bad. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to label these so you can kind of see where I'm going. We've got side one, two, three, and four. We still need a top and a bottom. For what we're doing, it's probably going to be easiest to put the top right here and the bottom right there above the third side. Again, it's two inches. 
So we're going to go up two and down two. And we can cheat on this one too. If I put my ruler at two, I can go up to zero, get it centered, and down to six. And do that twice. So I've got my two arrows down here. I can draw this line like that. And this line like that. I've got my top and bottom. Measure twice, double check it, set your ruler back on there, measure it, make sure it's, it's accurate. So we've got our basic shape, but we still need our tabs.